All right, let's talk about styling a table. We've got a table here that's a little different than using table to style, but that's okay. We're going to use, we have a table here. Basically, a lot of the things that we use for tables are the same as what we would use for styling any element. So I can do a table here. I'm going to use one that's unusual um, called border collapse. Um, and what that does is, for a table is that if this has a border on the left and this has a border on the right, it smushes them together and says we just want one line. So we won't see much of a change here because we're not showing the borders. Um, but uh, you can show the borders at some point and see what that does. So we've collapsed the borders. Let's also center this a little bit. So um, we'll do a, a margin, and we'll do a little bit of um, a little bit of margin on the top, and then on the sides we'll use auto. Remember, this is top and bottom. This is if we had four of them, it would be top, right, bottom, left. But since we only have two, this is um, vertical and then horizontal and auto. Um, centers it within the box. So um, if we save this, we can refresh it, and we've got it centered in the box. Okay, it's still not looking great. Um, one thing we have is tortoise followed by the 83. Let's add in a little bit of padding there so we have, um, so we're spacing it about out a bit. And the pat where we want to add the padding is in each of those little TD boxes. Um, so we'll say TD, we'll just add in, say, um, a quarter M. That should be enough that we're getting a little bit of space going on. So there, that spaced out a bit better. Um, oh, it's still it's still running together here, and that's because that's not a TD. That's actually a TH. So let's add that in there, and we'll refresh it, and that gives that a little bit of space too. We could do this even better if these were centered. So um, let's go ahead and tell it that we want it text align center. So this will center text within this, um, within each of their blocks. Nice. All right. So, um, and let's go ahead and add in a border now, but we're just going to put it on the bottom. Um, you could, you, there's lots of ways you could do, uh, you can style a, a table. This is one of them, I guess. And I'm just going to do a very light gray. So we're going to do one light gray line behind, be underneath each of those TDs and the TH. And that's good, but um, what if you wanted to add in a little bit more darkness to the TH? Well, what I could do is separate these out, but I still want to keep the padding and the text align. I'm actually happy with those. So instead, I'm going to kind of um, overwrite the TH with a new style. So we've just defined TH up there, but now underneath it, I'm going to do another style for TH. And this is going to overwrite the border bottom property. What that means is it's basically going to say, okay, this, this is the border bottom. It's going to hit this again, and it's going to say, all right, we're keeping everything else, but we're changing the border bottom to this, and we'll make it two pixel solid black. So just to, again, to clarify, if you were looking this at this in, in uh, well, maybe not, but uh, in Firebug, basically what we would be doing is saying, okay, cancel that, we're overwriting it with this because it's lower in the CSS file than this is. So we're basically overwriting an earlier um, property. I'll refresh it. That's a pretty nice looking, I like this. This looks professional, it looks clean. We could have done something fancy with colors or backgrounds, but this is clean and I like the way it looks. Um, actually, let's do one thing that's fancy. Um, we're gonna use the hover pseudo and we're gonna say, um, fact ground, uh, and we'll do it, say, um, a very light blue, save it. You remember what hover does? That's what it does here too. This doesn't really matter for something this small, but you can imagine if you had a very, um, small font and a very large, uh, a very large table that it would be helpful to be able to see what things are in a line. All right, so there's some basics on styling a table, making it look a little prettier.